In this video, we will learn about adenylate energy charge, which is also known as Atkinson's energy charge. Because this concept was introduced by Dan Atkinson's in 1968. So what is this concept of adenylate energy charge? Basically, we need to understand that energy is present in many forms when we talk about a cell. Let us take into consideration ATP. ATP gets converted to ADP plus PI that is inorganic phosphate. ATP can also give you AMP plus PPI that is pyrophosphate and ATP can react with AMP to give to ADP. This is catalyzed by adenylate kinase. Now, all these reactions are related to energy generation or energy utilization. So, how will a cell decide that when should energy generating enzymes be utilized or when should energy utilizing enzyme should be used to uh, decide this these enzymes they do not react to the concentration of ATP ADP AMP individually they react to one ratio and that ratio is called as energy charge how much energy charge is present in that particular cell and what is that ratio that ratio is concentration of ATP at any given point plus half of concentration of ADP divided by concentration of ATP plus concentration of ADP plus concentration of AMP. Now if you observe this formula, the numerator, if this is high, if the energy charge is high, that means the cell has got enough energy within and if energy charge is low, then the cell needs to prepare ATP. It needs to regenerate ATP. So that is how the cell functions. This ATP, this uh, energy charge, its value can range from 0 to 1. Now let us draw one graph and understand this. In this case, this x-axis talks about energy charge and energy charge can vary from 0 to 1. So here it will be 0.5, here it will be 1 and here is relative rate of particular enzymes, relative rate. So this graph will look like this. This line represents ATP utilizing pathway. And this line will represent ATP generating pathway. Now it is very clear from this graph that whenever the Atkinson's charge is 1 then 
the atp generating pathway will be less the relative rate of atp generating pathway will be less because the cell cell does not need to prepare a lot of energy and when the energy charge is one then the atp utilizing pathway will go high because the cell has a lot of energy in it so this is how the energy charge regulates metabolism energy charge regulates metabolism